Okay, just a little farther. Wow! Someone really went bonkers with the defenses, huh? <laughs> Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Magnus! Fantastic! Quick, come on. You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? Petra, you made it! It's good to see you too, big guy. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. I can't believe you found us. This is amazing! You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. I'm so glad to see you. Did the Witherstorm leave anything? Is anything left of our home? It's all a blur, but the Witherstorm left almost nothing behind. Everything, everyone, is just gone. It even caught Gabriel. Wow! It's been a while since I've been here. Whoa. What is she doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. Um, I forgot to mention, Olivia went on a little expedition of her own while you were gone. And this Olivia person came back with her? Did you know about this? Did Eligard put you up to this? You think you know a guy, and then, bam. Everyone just coming and going around here. You, uh, not fans of each other? That's one way of putting it. Jesse, Jesse, look, I found Eligard. Just hang on a sec, okay? Go figure out what's going on. Good. You do that. Easy now, Olivia. Let's try and play it cool. Hmm? So, who are you now? And why did you bring him with you? We are reuniting the Order of the Stone. It was kind of crazy, actually. I went to Redstonia, and there were all these incredible engineers and inventors. It was a little intimidating, actually, but Eligard's made me her protege. Well, assistant for now. I mean, after what happened. I know, I'm sorry. So sorry. Redstonia? It's like a town devoted to nothing but engineering and invention. It's amazing. And I was pretty out of my league. She might have, well, embarrassed herself. A tiny bit. Yeah. But after I pled my case, she agreed to take me on as her assistant and come back to help. Not bad, right? Oh, hooray! It's Ellie. And here I was just starting to enjoy myself. Hello, Magnus. Your voice is exactly as pleasant as I remember. Which is to say, not at all. Oh, my feelings. Is that the same wit you're going to use to save the world? Why? You're here to tell me how to do it better? Oh, I would never dream of doing that. Unlike you, I actually do things instead of just talking about them. Hey, that's Eligard you're talking to. Show her some respect. Wow, you finally found yourself a live one. Hey! Your little devotees are usually a little more on the bookish side. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. Yeah, I'll admit, that thing looked real nasty. And I've seen some nasty stuff in my time. Too much for you, was it? Your usual brutish approach didn't cut it? Hey, 
You weren't there, all right? You didn't see how this thing just tore everything up. Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. I don't know if you've looked around yet, but this place isn't nearly the stronghold it used to be. Most of our supplies are gone. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna stop it? Well, let's not panic, first of all. That's a good first step. But even if we had all the TNT for miles around, I don't know if it would be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. This thing sounds in impossible. How could it even exist? Impossible objects were Soren's specialty. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. How are you, Petra? Fine. You okay? We can talk about it later. Let's just do this map for now. Hey, Axel, how are you doing? I'm hanging out with Magnus. I'm doing awesome. Glad to hear it, buddy. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm all right. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on... Thank you so much for all the help. I, I know we haven't always gotten along the best in the past, but you've been so great. Wow. That means a lot, Jesse. Thank you. Hey, Magnus. Hey, Small Fry. No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. It's very, very sophisticated. I'm going, I'm going. I know what I'm... Hey, Olivia, you okay? I'm all right. I can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia, in front of Eligard. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. It'll be okay. I hope you're right. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. So he'll help us, right? Didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Oh, that's not good. That's Ivor! 
Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move. It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Perfect. We can wait till tomorrow morning and travel with a full day's sunlight. Uh, and is that thing catching up with us? I think I've had enough wither storm for one day. Uh, thank you very much. Right, because getting caught out there in the dark is so much better. Trust me, if you had seen this thing, you wouldn't want to stick around. Yeah, I don't want the wither storm catching up with us. We should go now. Jesse here is talking a lot of sense. Let's just go with that plan. You're just saying that because it's your plan, but fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Jesse, right? Oh, hello. We haven't had the chance to acquaint ourselves properly. I hear that you saved your friend Petra from this wither storm. Sounds like you're a pretty impressive individual. Picks fights with lots of monsters? Always defending the weak and defenseless? I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. I can always appreciate humility. I like you. In any case, I sort of wish that you had taken my side earlier, but water under the bridge and all that. A slight tangent, what's the uh, deal with your friend Olivia? I appreciate her enthusiasm, but she can be a little much sometimes. She's always very eager to jump in and help, which is sweet, of course, though sometimes I wish she would think a bit more before jumping in. I don't know if you caught this, but she's like your biggest fan probably just make her nervous. That's an excellent point. Hadn't thought about that. Seems like you respect her a lot. Why didn't you listen to her plan to come and recruit me? Not to make it awkward or anything. Or to demand, why didn't you want to recruit me? I figured that we needed firepower and no one knows destruction better than Magnus. The man does know how to blow things up with reckless abandon, that's for sure. I'll do my best to not let it hurt my feelings. <laughs> joke. That was a joke. Yep, exactly what I worried about, and exactly why we should have waited till morning. At least the wither storm isn't tearing us apart right now, all right? We can hatch all that out later for we got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Zorin? It has to be close, right? Not much farther. We can make it.
voice and thought I would come down to help. <laughs> Enderman. There were so many, I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. Where are the others? They went searching ahead for you. kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. They've definitely got issues to work through. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. something I want to discuss with you in private. Well, let's split up. Whoa. I feel bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's little tough to talk about. And Axel can get a little explodey sometimes. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding. You got me away from the wither storm, but I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. What? too long after you saved me. Holy crap, what are we doing down here? We need to get you help. I don't know if there's anything we can do, Jesse. Do you know what Wither is? The Wither? Of course, we've been... No, Jesse, just Wither, or Wither Sickness, I guess. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. Ah, Creeper! Grab my hand, I'll pull you up. Jesse, I just couldn't... I'm sorry. Jesse? Are you okay? Hey, you're the one that's sick. Take care of yourself first. I'll be okay. Okay. I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you.
must have something useful in here. He has to. Why would he have so many books? Is he just collecting them? He can't have read all these. Soren, is that you? <gasps> you. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. What are you doing down here? Being rudely interrupted by you, clearly. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Sorry, Ivor. I'm... Oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Petra, you escaped? <laughs> Foolish girl! I... Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. I'm not letting him leave either. Good. I'm the only one who can stop the wither storm! Not you! Yourselves the villains in my story. You're not going anywhere. This could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first. Jesse, look out! Getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> I'm like the wind! Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. <laughs> you can be anywhere. Stay in your guard. Banish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. <laughs> End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away. One's on you, you puffed up fool! destroy the wither storm but they are mistaken and it will cost them their lives next time on minecraft story mode in pursuit of answers all our heroes found in soren's armory was deceit and treachery Locked in a dark chamber deep in Soren's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? 
Or will they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first. Jesse, look out! You're not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> I'm like the wind! 